Hey guys, how's it going? I'm back here with another video and today this is the next video of my series where I teach you guys Merge Stack from beginner and remember in the last video we basically enabled the ability to send data from the front end to the back end and insert stuff in our database also be able to read our data in our front end that we received from our back end and you can see that this over here is the data we have in our back end in our database if I refresh here the same data appears right here. However, obviously it doesn't look good. So in this video, I'm going to start setting up everything for us to finish the other part of the like the CRUD aspect of our application, which is being able to delete stuff and update stuff. So we're going to basically be working with uh, making this possible. So how do we're, how we're going to do it is mostly working with the react aspect of the project. So we're going to come here, I'm going to close this right now, I'm just going to open up the react section. So this is basically where we're rendering everything currently. So you can see list of friends dot map is where we basically loop through every element in the list. And we can see we're telling it to create a div and put a name and the age of each element right next to each other. That's why it appears like this. So how are we going to fix this? Well, we're going to first of all, give the div a class name. And the class name will be friend. So this is the idea, we're going to call this friend. And we're also going to create a div above here. And this div will be a div that will wrap around all the friends. So this will be, a, we'll have a class name called friends. No, actually, I'll call it a little bit better. I'll call it a list of friends. This is the name of the class. So list of friends. And now what we can do is basically, instead of just saying, uh, putting this stuff inside of here saying uh, the name and the age, I can literally just come here and say, uh, create an H3, for example, it's just a header. And I'm going to wrap both items around with an H3. So let me delete this. I'm going to copy this right here. You can see that already they uh, look a little bit better because they're a header instead of just text in a div. I'm going to change this to an age, uh, then the other one will look the same. And basically, the idea of why I want to do this is because now I can come here to my CSS in my app.css. And I can access the uh, friend, for example, friend. And what is a friend? Well, let's make it a div. And by the way, I'm going to kind of like, let you guys see exactly how the UI is looking while I write this. So I'm going to push this aside a bit. And let's take a look. So it will have a width of like, uh, for like 300 pixels, and a height of like, I don't know, 60 pixels, then let's add some background colors. So background color, um, background color, should I make it the same background color as this? No, I think I'll make it the same as this type of green over here. So that I use for the button. So let me come here. Um, no, it's it's this one right here. Yeah. So let me come here, I'll just add this right here, hashtag and also color. So we add a color, you can see now it, it has this kind of like uh, aura around it where it's kind of like a, a rectangle, let's increase the size. So make this like 600 actually, it should look a little bit better. And um, I'll, I'll change the text inside of it to be color white. And obviously, again, I want to change the font family. So the font family will basically just change the font, I prefer this font career new. And one thing that is important is you can see the text is on top of each other. I don't want to do that I actually want to put the text right next to each other. So how do I do that? Well, there's other ways I'm gonna for example, if you came here and gave display inline, you'll see that if it, it, it doesn't work. Why? Because this type of display will basically break the program if we're trying to make try to make it the way we want. So what I usually use is display flex. And now if we save this, you'll see that stuff will be right on top of each other, I can give it a margin, a margin of like 10 pixels, you'll see that they'll be kind of spaced out. And you can see that john and the number is right next to each other. So what I can do is I'll just come here and add the word name before the name. So we can clearly see it's the name, then we can give the word age before like this. And one thing that is really cool is we can just come here. And we can also add some margins to, to like separate them. So basically, I'm going to uh, come here, and I'm going to access dot friend h3. And we can basically uh, give it a margin left. 
so a margin left so that they're kind of spaced out from each other so I'm gonna make it like 15 pixels and it will obviously push everything to the side and it looks a little bit better what else can I do can I do this um, I don't know I wanna I wanna basically I wanna clearly separate them so let me try adding a uh, like making one of them be uh, for example name will be uh, B which is bold so I'll make name bold so let's see if it makes that much of a difference it doesn't actually I'll just leave it like this it doesn't matter so now we have this and let me decrease the size a bit so it doesn't look horrible um, just to like 500 yeah that's okay so now I want to put it in the center how do I do that well we have the friend which is each item individually in the list but we also have list of friends which is everything from here to here so like all this bottom part right so let me see if it is actually yeah list of friends so this is what we have so what do we do here well first of all we can basically just give it a display flex and justify stuff to the center so justify content center and align item center I'm gonna center everything perfectly as you can see right here I forgot to actually change the how do I say this change the flex direction now they are like horizontally uh, placed next to each other if I make this a column it will be stacked so you can see it's clearly like it clearly appears here one thing I can also do is basically just margin this uh, margin top actually margin top uh, about 20 pixels so it kind of like pushes a bit as you can see right here and now it's looking good right we can see three items appear if we add stuff we can add stuff and it's awesome so how do we what we actually want to do now I'm gonna teach you guys how to because if I if I add for example I'm gonna add a person here Katarina and I give her an age of 19 I click on add friend it added the friend to the database if I refresh the page you'll see she appears here because every time we refresh the page we made a request from our database but when I added her individually here she didn't automatically appear here which isn't exactly what we want so how do we fix that well let's come here to our react and whenever we click on the button it just sends the data to the database right that's what we're currently doing so how do we fix that well let's go to the function right here this is the post request we make to insert the data so let's make it so that after if it actually inserts the data if we had a, a successful insert uh, then we want to do something what do we want to do basically currently we have the list of friends right list of friends is equal to the list of all the data in the database but it doesn't necessarily need to be uh, just data that we get from the database we can add that like items to the list in our project without making a request so how do we do that well I can come here to set list of friends and I want to set the list of friends so I want to add the new friend I'm adding to the database and the, at the same time I just added it to the database so basically we're doing both in the front end we're just we're adding it to the list in the front end and adding it to the database in the back end so how, how do we push something to a list that is a state normally in JavaScript if you want to add something to a list you can just say list of friends dot push and the name of the item right so I can say uh, friend whatever but when you have a list that is a state you have to do it differently you have to come here and say set list of friends and use array destructuring which is basically you grab uh, you, you open up an array you put three dots meaning you and the name of the array so a uh, list of friends what this means is basically we want everything that currently create an array with everything that currently already exists in the list so all the other friends in the list plus we want to add whatever we put here and what do we want to add well we want to add an object that will be the friend remember the friend like each friend is an object containing a name and age so let's just add name name age age just like we are doing uh, when we're sending this data to the backend so now when we do this and we save this and we want to add something for example I'll add um, a friend like Leo is 21 I'm gonna click add a friend and not only it sends the data to the back end because if we come here to our database we see that if I refresh here Leo is over here but it also automatically appears in our screen which is perfect it's also like a lot of problems not problems but like it just looks better we don't need to keep refreshing the page 
and that's just perfect, right? So this is the basic idea, and that's great because um, we can basically just add stuff. Now what we want to do finally to end this video is we want to add the buttons that will be will allow us to update stuff and delete stuff. So how do we do that? Well, very easily we can come here and right after like the friend, we want to add more stuff. So friend is this rectangle over here. I want to add the buttons right here, one over here and one over here. So to do that, I'm going to actually add something else. Out, like that is not a friend whenever like for each element on the array we want to add something else so how do I do that well actually before I add something as a sibling to this div we need to add an empty tag and if you've worked with a Java with react before you know why do we do this basically we need to add just one item in this return statement so we're gonna add two items we can add an empty tag and now we can add another thing over here and there won't be any problems. If you find yourself having problems with this and like the red scribbly lines, just put an empty tag around stuff and it should work. So basically, what we want to add here, two buttons. We want to add the first button, which is going to be um, update. I don't want to make it look bad, so I'm just going to say update. And another button, will be, which will be the delete. For now, let's just make it an X. So we have two buttons, right? But they're obviously appearing below the div. So how do we fix that? Well, we can come over here and you know what? I'll make this a div actually. I'll make this a div and this a div as well. Why am I doing this? Because I'll actually wrap everything around this and make it so that I'll, I'll add a class name and um, friend friend container. I'll just call this friend container. You'll see why. Now stuff will be we have a, a div there that contains both the buttons and the like this, the display, right? So what do we do? We go to our CSS over here, and I'm gonna close this. We go here, and now I wanna decrease this to 400 so it looks a little bit better, and I want to add the buttons right next to it. So basically I can come here and access the, how do I, how, do, how did I say that? I said friend container, right? So friend container, and I can basically just give it a display flex, display flex, and a flex direction of row because now I want stuff to be next to each other. Now you can see they are next to each other. Well, obviously they look super ugly, but it doesn't really matter. You know why? Because we're gonna copy this. First of all, we're gonna copy this margin instead of being a margin between uh, the like the friend div and the friend container. We're gonna add this so that the friend container has a margin with all the other ones. And all the buttons are right next to each other, but obviously we want to make them look a little bit better. So how am I going to do that? Well, I'm just going to literally just say, f just actually, I'll no, I'll make them both the same size. So I'll make it so that friend container, and I'm going to access all the buttons inside of there. So I'm going to give them a width of like, I'm going to make them a square almost. I know that the height should be 60. So I'll make the width equal to 60, maybe no, a little bit bigger, right? So 60 and the height 60 as well. Let me see. So yeah, that's okay. And I want to obviously, I want to give it a border. So we identify the, the like the outside. So we'll, what will be the border? Basically, will be two pixels solid. And let's make it black for now. Let's see. Okay. And now the background color will be the same as this, like the, the one we added for the for the div, so that it looks a little bit better. But I don't know if I like this, it doesn't look perfect. This two like borders, both of them have a, has a border, right? So that's why this is appearing like this, they're overlapping. So what I can do is I can just come here and I can maybe remove one of those borders. Um, yeah, I can, I'm gonna give this an ID of remove button. I'm gonna basically identify the remove button and we're gonna remove the border for that button specifically. Remove but button and border left equals to none. So basically what I'm doing is I, I create an ID for this button right here and I said that the, I want the left part of that of that button to not have a border. So now we don't have the right side of the update button and the left side of the the delete button having a border and making it 
uh, overlap. So that's the bit that's the basic idea. Now I want to actually I'll come here. Remember I did a hover. I want the hover to look to work for everything. So I'll just remove this and now it will work for this ones too. So what finally thing I want to do is I want to change the color uh, to white. Okay. And maybe change the font family as well. Actually, I'll put the font family on the friend container and you will get everything. Maybe no, we didn't get the this things right here. So I'll just come here to the button and add them as well. So it doesn't look perfect. That's okay. I will actually increase the size a bit. I'll make this 80 so that it looks a little bit better. Yeah, but we can click on stuff, right? And this is the basic idea. If we want to update something, we're going to click on update. If we want to delete, we're going to click on delete. And what will I'm thinking about when we click on update, kind of a model appears and we can put the the new values we want, or maybe uh, when we click on update, a, an input will appear over here and we can just write on it the new values we want. So and when we click on the button, obviously it will delete everything. So that's the basic idea. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like down below and comment what you want to see next. I'm really liking. I, I like. I'm liking making this series. I want to see your your guys's opinion. What you want to see. What you want to see in the series. What what you want me to do. So yeah. If you're, if you're appreciating it, leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe if you want to see more. Because I'm posting every single day. So yeah. I see you guys next time.